All right, guys. Today we're gonna do some basic quick maintenance on the Forerunner. Uh, gonna do what they're calling greasing the propeller shaft, or as we've always called it in the past, uh, greasing our U-joints and our drive shafts. So I'm gonna save you all a bunch of time right now uh, and just tell you, don't go online and read about it because the amount of rabbit holes that exist in this five minute job is crazy. So the only things you need to know are, you need a grease gun, which I actually went and bought one for the first time in my life. I've always had them <laughs> and bought one. Uh, and then the kind of grease. So this is where all the debate is. Um, Toyota calls for two different types of grease on the drive shaft, or one for the drive shaft, one for the U-joints. Um, if you get a lithium-based NLGI 2-rated grease, which there are plenty out there, you can use it on both. This will work. For, you only need the one tube, guys. Don't don't read into this a whole lot. Don't spend money on two tubes unless you're really bored. This right here works. You just got to make sure that you are NLGI number two rated, which most greases are, and it needs to be lithium based, uh, which this one, lithium. Uh, Lucas, as a brand, does make an extra heavy duty, the green one that is polyurea based, which is the other more common grease, uh, which is a heavier duty, more ag industrial type grease. Whereas uh, this one has a little bit better wear properties. I'm gonna tell you this, uh, if all you had was the other kind or one that wasn't rated correctly, it's better than nothing. Most people never do this maintenance, never have a problem. If you're going out and buying new, just buy something that is NLGI2 and lithium. Um, this stuff right here does it. I'll link it, uh, like you can get it on Amazon. I bought it at O'Reilly's or somewhere the other night because you can just walk in and buy it anywhere. Um, there's several different kinds. I will list some kinds or types below um, and the grease gun because, you know, they're less than 20 bucks. So we're going to be $25 into this and have enough grease to do this for the rest of the forerunner's life. Um, Toyota recommends doing this maintenance every 15,000 miles under normal conditions. So if you just do it every oil change, the dealerships do not do this as part of their service. Um, they will claim they do. They will check it off the box, but it's just an inspection, which you can't really inspect it instead of just doing it. So uh, just do it. It's pretty simple. Um, that being said, we've got the Forerunner out back. I'm going to go climb under it and show you uh, where it gets greased. There's only six Zerks, um, one on each drive shaft, one on each U-joint. Pretty simple. Most difficult part will just be making sure they're lined up right, which I might just have to roll the Forerunner back or forth a little bit. So again, I'm, I'm going to save you guys the time. Don't go on a form and read. Just get any grease that's NLGI number two and lithium and you are golden. Um, that's all you got to know. So let's go, uh, let's go get into the foreigner here. All right. So I'm trying to do this from a perspective that makes sense. Uh, instead of filming it upside down. So we're on the passenger side of the foreigner, go underneath and so you got transfer case and we'll scoot under a little bit more. So you can't see him cause I actually need to rotate this, but there's a Zerk on that U-joint in there, a Zerk on the other side of the driveline right there, at the rear axle, in that U-joint, if it'll focus, that U-joint there, go to the front, which we may have to climb to the other side, but, yeah, we can't see it, everything's in the way. So there's a U-joint there, and a Zerk on the other side of the drive shaft, which I actually think I can get now, so I'll probably go to the other side and do those. And then the front U joint right there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So pretty simple. All right, so real need to heat things around a little bit just so you can see. So rear of the rig, drive line, Zerk number one, and the other Zerk up in there get on the camera for the u-joint is right up there so first things first you want to get a rag you don't want to clean them off i'm going to do it a little bit better without a phone in my hand because you will read reviews of people who got their uh grease gun stuck on that and a lot of the times it's not the grease gun at fault these are pretty clean but sometimes they get dirty and gunked up so if you stick the grease gun on there, crank up pressure to get grease in there and grease doesn't go in, it'll lock on there. 
So you've got to release the pressure somehow. So if you clean them so there's no dirt, which is actually pretty clean under here, then you won't have that problem. So the grease that goes in here actually works its way down into the slip shaft. You can see where there's a little bit of movement there because your drive line has to expand and contract with suspension. And then in the U-joint just goes to each cap and loop the needle bearings. So clean those up a little bit better and get the grease gun and get these two done. And we have to adjust more for the others, but that's all there is to it. So let's do these. All right, so hopefully you can see that on camera through a light up there to hopefully make it a little easier to see. But, so I wiped off the Zerks. They're actually really, it's really clean under this 4Runner. Um, they both look really good. So, got our grease gun. A little tight working under here. And we'll start with the slip joint first. So, yeah, pop that on there. Give her two or four pumps. Alright, that's simple. Clean zerk, grease skin doesn't stick. Good to go. Put that off. Now, the trick is going to be to get to the U joint one, which actually I can get to pretty easy. Let's see here. Alright, so this one, you pump until you start seeing grease come out. Alright, so that's live pumps, and I'm hearing it push out. Let me move the light so I can see it, and I'll show you here with the camera here in a second. And it's just starting to ooze out. So I'm going to keep going until I see the new red grease. I'm seeing the old dirty grease come out right now. And I got new grease coming out. So, all right. So that one's done. Again, clean zerks. This should come right off. I can get a hold of it here. And we'll set this guy down. And then just kind of wipe up the grease that's in there because It'll fling around if you don't. Before I do that too much, let me get the camera here and I'll show you guys. So can you see in there? All the grease is coming out. Let me move that light. So hopefully you can see in there. It comes out from under the cap. So all you're doing is shooting grease in between the needle bearings. So all right, I'm gonna clean this up really good and then we'll move on to the next spot. That's two out of six done. All right, just moved to the back here and the Zerk actually lined up. So I'm hoping you can see that one in case the others don't show up real well, but yeah, rear axle, rear tire. I'm under the passenger side. And that little nubbin right there. That's the Zerk, that's where the grease goes. So I wiped it off real quick. I'm gonna wipe it off a little better and we'll shoot some grease into that one. And then the whole rear will be done, and we just move to the front. So that was nine pumps, probably more than I needed, but I wanted to get to the point where I started seeing clean grease come out. You can see all the black grease, the old grease, and then all the new red. The red is the new. So yeah, I'm gonna wipe this up so it doesn't fling it around, and then we'll move to the front. All right, so we're moving to the front. We're actually, through a perspective, this is the front driver's side tire, I'm right under the driver door, and uh, so there's the ones we just did on the back of the transfer case to the rear. So if we move to the front of the transfer case, that guy right there, if I can get uh, that one right there is the Zerk for the front drive line. And then I don't know if I can get an angle with the camera, I don't think I can. The other one is right, the u joint one's in there. So let me hit these guys real quick. And then we'll only have one more, which I might be able to get to. It's gonna be up there as long as we're turned right. All right, so I'm really contorted under here, but I gotta roll it a little bit to get to the U-joint uh, off the transfer case. But just since I'm down here, front drive line, that Zerk's lined up, see it right there? So 
Can I hit that one real quick? And then I'll have this one last one back here, which I can get to. I just gotta, I gotta roll it forward and turn the drive line a little bit. All right, just an update, guys. So there's this shield that, uh, an exhaust shield that was right there in the way. And I realized it was only two bolts, just two 12 milliliter bolts. So it just unbolts off this cross member. Super simple and it freed up all sorts of room. So everything's greased, that's all six. Let's put this back together. All right guys, so that's it. It's all greased up. I mean, really this is a five or 10 minute job. You know, add an hour or two because we're filming it, but it is what it is. So something pretty simple. Just wanted to show everybody how to do it. Again, the only things that matter are the grease you choose, which just has to be NLGI2 and lithium based, and you're golden. I will tell you, I grew up on a farm where we greased machinery constantly, and we never paid attention to, as far as I know, the specs of the grease. You just got heavy duty grease, whatever was cheap, grabbed a cheap, cheap grease gun and went to town. Grease gun worked flawlessly, nothing stuck. Again, I'll link this in the description below. You can just get it on Amazon. I'll link the grease. Super easy, so that's gonna be it for today. I got a couple other little maintenance things I'm gonna do that don't need to film. And then, got this guy. Next day we have this nice, not today, because some of it just showed up this morning, doing some suspension changes. So, we'll see y'all in the next one.